Hello, this is One Unit, and today I'm watching the fan-made trailer of Game of Thrones. I have endured a lot of pain because of Game of Thrones last season, but because of my love for the all other seasons, mostly because of the first four seasons, I'm gonna watch this fan trailer and revisit the. Revisit the whole uh, Westeros. Let's see how it goes, guys. Dragon. Okay, the wedding. I never felt sad for that dude, man. Not gonna lie. Stories. Came back for nothing. We're in the great game now. In the great games. It hurts every time. <sighs> Power is a curious thing. It's a trick. These shots are amazing, man. Stan is the true king. Do you know what the realm is? It's a lie. They show little finger and it just burns me inside. Not gonna lie. That hurt, man. That. Oberyn. This isn't about noble houses. This is about the living and the dead. It's scary till till this date. Not gonna lie. The same thing is coming for all of us. The enemy is real. It's always been real. Dead man, dragon. Hold on. Drogon was the only badass thing about this show. Not even kidding. The Seven Kingdoms needs a monarch who can inspire the people. The king in the north. King in the north. Loved by millions. You stand in the presence of the mother of dragons. Together, we will save this country from those who would destroy it. Fuck Daenerys, man. For centuries, our families fought against their common enemy. Now I like that. We need to do the same if we're gonna survive. Death is coming for everyone and everything. That, that shit has seen where Arya switches the blade gives me PTSD, man. Not gonna lie. The worst thing. You haven't been paying attention. It actually was a happy ending. What do you mean? You idiots. So many memories revisited. So much pain. So many scenes where I just wanted to... Both the David brothers or whatever they are. What did they do to my show, man? What did they do to this show? <laughs> Why? How could you, man? How could you? This, this is going to become a rant now. Till this date. Till this date it hurts. Every time I see the name Game of Thrones. How they butchered my boy. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>
but it's quite refreshing to watch all this stuff again after so long if only they remove that last season out of it like scratch it off man scratch it off just do it i would watch it like 10 more times a thousand more times man it was like it wasn't the like this is not the unhappy ending i hoped for you know like no, I, i don't think anyone hoped for this kind of a unhappy ending when they meant that you are not paying attention if it's going to be a happy ending you know this is not the thing anyone thought that they're just going to ruin it so bad that it will actually become an unhappy ending you know like did, did they did they actually do it on purpose J- just to uh, go according to their tagline <laughs> i re- i see what so, so i was team obrin from the get go in the fourth season felt sad felt heartbroken obrin was but throughout i, I have been a stark fan boy always ned stark ned stark's death has always has always been the i, I don't think like it there has been a more traumatizing death you know not for me at least rob stark it was it was surprising it was shocking but there was only one traumatizing death uh, th- that's what i feel except 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 the darewolves what they did to the diabolos man summer i remember summer man <sighs> there there were I, i literally felt there was something crawling inside my skin i wanted to scratch the faces but i missed the show not gonna lie i i missed the uh I miss the feels of the show, you know. You you'd wake up early morning and watch the show, the new episode, the hype. <laughs> watch it before everyone, you know, <laughs> so that no one spoils it. Like it it was a different time. Game of Thrones was a different thing altogether, and they did they did that. They ended up doing that. This. like this could have been the show which would have made them eternal like friends would have wouldn't have even stood any chance you know and what they did you know what they did is there going to be a prequel do you guys want a prequel Rhaegar Targaryen do, do do you do you guys do you guys want to see it like i, I don't know what they're going to do with it I, i am scared like personally i am scared so either the long night or the targaryen's rule or rhaegar targaryen's time like and any anything would do at this point but i i'm i'm really scared these guys are going to mess it up again so but i really missed this show man it was something else it just felt different you know it was built different george r r martin if only if only you had written those books man It's all right. It's all right. I'm not angry. I'm not sad. It's just the feelings coming out, you know. After I don't know, three years, two thousand eighteen, it was right when the last season came. 
or 19 i don't remember good thing i don't remember actually they took 2 years and did that 2 years i'm not angry <sighs> okay guys i think i think that's about it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna raise more i'm not gonna give them the satisfaction they don't deserve it they don't even deserve my discontent they don't even deserve my anger hate them to the absolute core fucking davids all right guys i think this is it for this video i'm going to go otherwise i'm going to break my own uh, break my own monitor uh, before i do that i should go so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you like the video don't forget to press the like and the subscribe button and comment i i want those rants in the comments guys i want those rants do it right now <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching bye bye take care